Welcome back everybody to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Today I want to talk about more Pico in competitive play. Now I will just start this video by saying I didn't like come up with this on my own or notice this on my own. This is something I saw while watching other people play Moxie Boosted. That's kind of how you learn Pokemon if you're not super great at it. Like I'm decent, but I'm not anywhere near the tier of a lot of these other players that play this game very casually. But I learned this from watching Moxie Boosted, and it is a really good strategy if you look at the Pokemon. So we're going to look at more Pico today and just kind of break down why this Pokemon is actually pretty good. And I will show off a team I made with more Pico that I have had quite a bit of success with. So we're going to get into that here in this video. But if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this in the future. But let's get into it. So I'm going to bring us over here. We're going to look at more Pico. So the reason more Pico is really pretty good in competitive play is because of the fact that it can learn parting shot okay parting shot is really popular right now because of things like rillaboom you know pretty much every team that runs a rillaboom is running an incineroar that has parting shot because it lowers the special attack and the attack of the user that it uses the attack on and it switches the pokemon out this is used on incineroar a lot but incineroar is a lot beefier than more pico so usually you're using this on slower teams where Morpico is pr fairly quick, honestly. It's a pretty quick Pokemon based on how you stat it out. And yes, it does have a low HP stat. So most people are running this with Focus Sash, which I think is just freaking awesome. But then it also has the ability, ability Aura Wheel, which has a 110 base power and 100% accuracy, accuracy. Excuse me, I can't English. And this is a really good move for starters, just from the amount of power that it has. But then also the fact of the hunger switch ability where more pico switches between electric and dark type it has a lot of viability for different type matchups so it's a really really cool technique you can use while using more pico in battle also it has things like fake out so you have fake out pressure as well as you can run things like taunt on it so it has a lot of potential to stop a lot of plays depending on how you're going to use it in game plus if you're able to set stuff up to lower defense it does have potential to do some big damage with aura wheel so if you're doing things like maxing the attack the speed things like that you're going to be able to survive whatever hit in the off chance they go into more pico normally you're going to pair this with pokemon that they're going to be more threatened by so you're not going to have to worry about it and you're going to be able to just get things like parting shot off or get a fake out things like that but pairing this with things like spectrier which moxie boosted also did but other things you know dragapult is another good option if you run this with a dragapult Another good Pokemon because of the fact that they know ghost type Pokemon, if you Dynamax that Pokemon off rip and then you use Max Phantasm, you're going to be lowering the defense of the Pokemon. So then when you rotate more Pico back in, also you will have the fake out pressure from the parting shot being able to rotate that back in. You'll have the option to go into a fake out and have the fake out pressure, or you can go into an aura wheel with minus one defense and it's going to do a fair chunk of damage. So overall more Pico just with things, if paired with the right team, can be a significant addition to your party and actually use some really good moves that can just kind of give you the edge in a battle. So I have really had a fun time using it. So here's the team that I've been using it on. Now, like I said, I play this game very casually. So this is obviously not the best team. I am putting a ton of time into learning to get better at making teams, but this is the team that I've been using in my game and I've actually had some serious success as well as success here on Showdown. And it's a lot of fun to use. So. First off, we got Grimmsnarl, just for a reflect uh, in screen, a screen setter. It's really useful, especially with things being so popular right now, like Urshifu, Spirit Break's pretty good on it, as well as I like to run either Taunt or I like to run Fake Tears. I have done this team as well with Fake Tears because it's pretty beneficial if certain situations come up, like if they're using a Dusclops, you can run Grimmsnarl Spectra lead and then go Ma Dynamax on the Spectra, use Shadow Ball, and then you're going to have a serious knockout on a dust collapse with fake tears applied to it so really really useful setup there so grimstone is running light clay so you get the extra time on your screens like i said spirit break Refl reflect i can't speak during this video i don't know why light screen <laughs> fake tears or taunt it just depends i really prefer fake tears but i have been using taunt occasionally i should go back and forth between it next up like i said i got more pico here focus sash hunger switch or a wheel parting shot fake out and protect or taunt again i've been going back and forth between these two as well then we come over here to the stats for more pico we got four hp 
because you're pretty much going to get one shot by everything that's why the focus sash is there so we want to max out that attack so if we do get the minus one defense from the max phantasm or minus two defense however many times you can get that max phantasm off you're going to be doing a fair chunk of damage to whatever pokemon you're going to be attacking which is really nice with more pico here also max out that speed so you give better priority then i forgot to go over here on grimmsnarl i do have a beefier grimmsnarl uh it does have 244 416 24 and 20 so it's going to be able to take a couple hits and you're going to be able to get your screens off that's mainly the point of this thing or like i said if you're running fake tears on it to stop dust clops from setting up trick room because it is very popular trick room setter right now also lander Astherian is a really good one to run with more pico because of the parting shot you can rotate this in and then get another minus one on things with the intimidate i'm running this with assault vest u-turn fly rock slide and earthquake this is a pretty standard setup here for landerus uh i do like bulkier landerus so we got 224 hp 36 attack 4 defense 92 special defense and 148 with a jolly nature just so i have some speed and this, like I said, it's mainly going to be doing a lot of intimidating and it's going to be doing a lot of rock sliding. That's the main purpose of this. It does have some potential if you do need to Dynamax it to, you know, handle things like uh, Rillaboom with Fly, Max Airstream. That's going to be doing some work. Things like that. Potentially beneficial. Also, I'm running this with Zapdos. I've run this Zapdos in other teams. I featured this in a Zapdos team. I put up a video on a little while back. This is just, Zapdos is really good. It, it has a lot of coverage. And if you pair it with things like Tapu Fini, if you go for the Dynamax on Tapu Fini and use Muddy Water, you're going to be getting the Rain Weather Effect in play, and then you can use Hurricane 100%. So really, really awesome. So with Zapdos, we're running Thunderbolt, Heat Wave Protect, and Hurricane, literally the exact same Zapdos that I showed off in the team the other day. The only thing that did different was I put Static on it because for whatever reason in that team build, I had uh, Pressure and not Static. Don't know why. Uh, Citrus Berry. And it is a bulkier Zapdos, so we got 252, 20, 204, 28, and 4 with bold for the additional defensive stats. Because of things that are super popular right now, like Stack Attack is really popular right now. Also, uh, Glacier is very popular right now, so you want that extra defense for the, you know, Icicle Crash and things of that nature. Finally, Tapu Fini. This is just a very, very popular Pokemon right now. It's just, it's like the top used fairy Pokemon, and it's for good reason. This Pokemon's really good. It has a lot of beef to it, and it stops the Rillaboom pretty effectively with its Misty Surge. So, really useful Pokemon. Also, Citrus Berry, if you you know, want to swap out Zapdos' uh, item for something else, you can use a Citrus Berry here. It's also very effective on Tapu Fini. It helps because of how bulky this thing is. You can build this a little bulky, but I went for a little more special attack. I do prefer a beefier Tapu Fini, I can say. Uh, but for this team, I have been running it with 252, 20, 16, 4, and 116. Now, I will say that, honestly after using this team it's better to just drop the speed stat you maybe put four into it but then uh put the stats into the different defenses that's my recommendation after using it the speed stat isn't going to matter that much for top of Fini. most things are still going to outspeed you so it's just worth it to have the extra defensive stats and make this as bulky as possible uh i am running it with muddy water protect calm mine and moon blast also i believe it's what is it? icy wind instead of calm mind is a good one if you needed uh, let's see icy wind yes icy wind this is going to give you an advantage over rillabooms which are just beyond popular right now so honestly you can swap out calm mine for uh icy wind this probably isn't going to be your main special attacker sweeper with things like spectre and zapdos on this team so icy wind usually is a pretty good bring in this team as well i am making these changes kind of as i go because of just things i've tested and the other teams i've been building on the side so if i'm making any changes here it's just because I've just learned from using this team and other teams. Uh, and I am running this with, I, I don't even have the nature changed on this, oddly enough. Um, honestly, I'd be running this with a bold stat just because of things like, again, Glacier is very popular right now. Stack Attack is very popular right now. There's a lot of physical uh, steel users that are very popular right now. So the extra defense is super beneficial. You can run this with a, you know, modest nature if you want to do a little extra damage that'll also give you an edge but i like the beefier build personally but again like i said you're probably going to want to get rid of the speed stat that i had on here originally and just like acclimate it to the different uh defenses i'd probably put it a little more into um this is not accurate by the way this is just me sliding the sliders uh, i would probably put more into the defensive side but yeah that's the team it's a lot of fun to use i've been having like i said a fair bit of success with this team 
in game now with these changes i'd probably have a lot more success but i would have to restat my pokemon so that's something i'll have to do in my free time but i am working on other teams right now and there are just going to be a bunch more teams and gameplay guides here in the near future so if that is your jam like i said earlier in the video make sure you are subscribed for more stuff like this in the future but that's it hope you guys found the video entertaining and helpful if you did be sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future be sure to check out the discord people over there playing pokemon and be sure to check out my stream my tiktok all that other social media stuff if you're interested in keeping up with me this channel to stream anything like that but like i said that's it for this one guys and i will see you all in the next video